Did you know Sigmund Freud's Chow Chow, Jofi, attended all his therapy sessions? He said it helped him assess the mental state of his patients. Other famous Chow Chow owners include 30th President Calvin Coolidge, Elvis Presley, and Martha Stewart. Arguably one of the most beautiful and admired dog breeds, the Chow Chow is a bona fide head turner. A Chow Chow looks kind of like a cross between a lion and a bear. In fact, like the bear, the Chow Chow was the only dog born with 44 teeth compared to other dogs that have 42 teeth. And while they have a cute and cuddly exterior, many Chows have a reputation for aggression. This is a dog that definitely has, you know, been known to be a little bit aggressive in the past and, and a little bit standoffish with kids and with strangers. The Chow Chow is ranked one of America's most dangerous dog breeds. And many insurance companies refuse homeowners' policies for people who own Chow Chows. Despite its reputation, almost all properly trained and socialized Chows make wonderful, loyal companions. Once you get through the outer layers of this dog's personality, they're amazing, warm, loving spirits. <laughs> The Chow Chow is one of the most ancient dog breeds. It originated in northern China more than 2,000 years ago. Chow Chow is seen in Chinese pottery as early as the Han Dynasty. Many believe the Chow came from crossing Tibetan Mastiffs and Samoyeds, while others argue it's the original ancestor of the Samoyed, Pomeranian, Norwegian Elkhound, and Kazund. The Chow was bred to be an all-around working dog. Chinese emperors and merchants used them for hunting, pulling sleds, and most notably, guarding. Once thought to ward off evil spirits by the Chinese, the Chow Chow's most well-known characteristic is his blue-black tongue. Which is um, a little disarming if you're not prepared for it, um, but is of course one of the things that people find most charming ultimately about the breed. Chow puppies are born with pink tongues that darken as they age. Chows also have their distinctive straight hind legs, which swing back and forth like a pendulum, giving them a stilted gait. And the most immediately recognizable of any characteristic is their dense double coat that is either smooth or rough. Very profuse with that rough that gives it a very lion-esque appearance. The lion-like Chow Chow comes in five colors, red, black, cream, blue, and cinnamon. Red is the most popular. Fiercely loyal and protective of their owners, Chows can make great pets but don't always appreciate being fussed over by children or strangers. Chow Chows can make amazing companions for adults. I think that they are probably not the right companions for young children. Chows are not an active breed, so apartment living is okay, as long as they receive daily scheduled exercise. When a Chow Chow is not exercised, usually they become a little bit more lethargic, a little overweight, and also a little bit cranky at times. We don't like cranky Chow Chows. They thrive in cold weather and are prone to heat stroke, so chows need to be in a cool place on hot days. Chows are seasonal heavy shedders, and regular grooming is important. They have a very, very dense, thick coat that needs constant brushing. Chows can be very territorial and take their home and family very seriously, so training and socialization need to start early. Let them meet people. Let them meet other pets. If it's not socialized, it'll bond with the family, and you could have problems with people just coming into your home. When it comes to health, chows are not always the sturdiest breed. Chow chows actually do have a lot of health issues. The most common being elbow and hip dysplasia. So in general, chow chows thrive in cold climates. They are prone to several health issues, including hip and elbow dysplasia and entropion. They should be brushed daily. Training and socialization should start from puppyhood. And these dogs do best with an experienced adult family. Here we come.